everyone, welcome to another day of phonics with me, Miss Lansdale, Spencer Bear and all our fun games and tricks in our phonics box. Today we're going to start off by playing something that we haven't played in quite a while. We're going to get on our bus, our bus called Bertie and we're going to the zoo and we're going to see what we see or what Bertie sees as we pass through the zoo okay so it is a while since we've done this all together so we need to remember the little rhyme that we say at the start of each game or each time we see a new animal from the zoo and remember, when we say this, the rhythm of it helps us with our reading and using our brilliant expression when we read our stories. So, all together, let's join in. Are we ready? Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Let's have a look, see if you can spot what it is. Oh! Do you know what that is? It's a hamster. Hamster. Okay, listen carefully to all the names of these animals because remember, the animals that we see give us a clue about the sound that we're going to be learning today. So he's found a hamster. Let's see if he spots anything else. Are we ready? Let's go again. Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, it's a tiger. So we've got a hamster and a tiger. Okay, let's go again. Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Do you think? Oh, does anybody know the name of this animal? Begins with a B. That's right, it's a badger. So, hamster, tiger, badger. Mm, have you spotted the clue yet? Let's see if there's any more. Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Oh, now I'm usually scared of these. What is it? It's a spider. Spider, badger, hamster and a tiger. Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Oh, we must be in the under the sea section now because this one, let's move Mr. Crocodile, this one is a lobster. So, let's say them all together. Hamster, badger, spider, tiger and lobster. Now there's one big space left, so I think you might see something else. Let's go. Bertie the bus is going to the zoo. Who does he see as he passes through? Wow, this isn't an animal. This is a mermaid. Mermaid. And look, I've got my mermaid leggings on today. I'm matching with her mermaid tail. Fantastic. So, Let's see now if we can spot our sound for today. Can we hear it in those words? I'll say the words again. You listen really, really carefully and see if you can hear the sound. Hamster, badger, spider, tiger, mermaid, and lobster what's that oh oh 
Spencer says he thinks that the sound is in his name as well. Listen really carefully. Spencer. You're right, Spencer. It is in your name. So today's sound, everybody, is the er uh sound. Now, we have already learnt the er uh sound. We learnt it last week or a couple of weeks ago. But today, we're going to see a different way of making the er uh sound. And this way usually comes at the end of a word. So just like in all of those words, apart from mermaid, but the same with Spencer, it was at the end of the word. So let's practice saying that sound. Let's have one of our sound sweets. Uh, can you say it? Fantastic. Uh, uh, uh. You say it? Spencer, can you say it? Uh, uh, uh. Fantastic. Okay, so the letters that make up our er uh sound, our new way of doing it, are the e eh and the r. So the other week we had u uh and r to make er. Uh. Today we have e eh r to make er uh, like that. Okay, shall we try doing some magic again? Fantastic. Okay, so let's see if we can join these two together to make that er uh sound. Let's put them in our magic chest. So the e, eh, or the name of this letter is E, going in. And er, but the name is R, is going in as well. Close it up, nice and secure, okay. Spencer, are you going to help me do the magic? Fantastic. Will you all help me do the magic as well? Let's get our wands ready. Okay, me and Spencer are going to do it together. So we'll tap it three times and each time we'll say that sound. Are we ready? Er, er, er. You do it, guys. Fantastic. Shall we open the box and see if we've done it? Let's see. Don't believe it. Every single time you manage to do it. Look at that. Er, er, er. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Let's have a look how we can write both of those letters because we've heard the sound in all of these words. We've practiced saying the sound ourselves. We've seen how we, what the sound looks like. So now let's learn how to write the sound. So we'll go to our big board, get your magic pencils out everybody, or magic pens, it's up to you. Um, let's have, we'll have the rainbow again. Nice to use the rainbow. Okay, Spencer, you're just gonna have to sit down there for a minute. Let's have a look at the two letters that make this sound. So we'll have a look at the letter rhymes. Okay. So for the first part, are we ready? We're going to start and up we go. Lift off the top and then scoop out of the egg. That's our first bit. And then the second part to the sound is that rrr. Let's have a look. Up we go. Down the robot's back. And then curl over his arm. Fantastic. And that is the rrr sound. Okay, shall we do a really big one? 
let's have a look let's go on a clean page are we ready so up we go lift off the top of the egg and scoop it out fantastic and then up we go down the robot's back up and over his arm there you go wonder if we can do even bigger than that one last time really really big this time are we ready <gasps> i'm a bit nervous let's go up we go lift the top off the egg and scoop it out up we go down the robot's back and then up and over his arm fantastic now you could maybe have a practice at writing the er uh sound yourselves if you want to get your magic pencils out you can go over with me are we ready let's do it together we're going to go up we go lift the top off the egg and scoop it out up we go down the robot's back up and over his arm fantastic well done everybody